In this video, I will show you how you can use Python to protect your Excel documents from unauthorized access. Therefore, we will write a program called Excel Protect. For the implementation, we need the PyWin32 library. This library provides interfaces and tools for the automation, interaction and extension of the Microsoft Windows environment. To install it, you can use the command pip install pywin32. After that, import win32.com.client with the alias win32. You will also need the two modules OS and sys from the standard library. Define a function called protect excel file to which you pass two parameters, namely the path to the file to be protected and the password with which the excel file is to be protected. Within the function, address the Microsoft Excel application with excel.application. Save the handle to a variable called excel. Call the open method on the handle and pass the path to the file to be opened. Save the result in a variable called workbook. Congratulations! You have now automated opening an Excel workbook. The interfaces provided by the Windows operating system were addressed via pywin32. To save the workbook with a password, we call the save as method on the workbook and pass it the path under which the workbook is to be saved as the first parameter. Attention! If you want the file name other than the original name of the file, you must adjust this variable here, for example by adding p.xlsx. Otherwise, the original file will be directly protected with a password. As the second parameter, you pass the password that you previously passed to the protect exit file function. We then print the message that the file has been protected. Close the workbook using the close method afterwards. Then close the Excel application using the quit method, which you call on Excel.application. In the main program, we use the get current working directory function of the OS module to get the current directory in which your Python program is located. As we are communicating with the Windows API here, we must use absolute paths to address files. We therefore save the path in which the Python file is located inside a variable called prefix, which is later appended to the front of the file name. When starting the program, the user should first enter the name of the file to be protected and the desired password. We retrieve this information via the list argv on the sys module. We then call the protect Excel file function and pass it the absolute path to the Excel file and the password requested by the user. Now it's time to test the program. To do this, I have prepared an Excel workbook that we can still open without a password. Now I start the Python program with the command python excelprotect.py. Then I enter the name of the Excel workbook to be protected. That means secret.xlsx. I choose abc123 as the password. Please do not make the same mistake and choose a secure password. After the program has been started, the message that the protection process is completed is displayed. When we open the Excel file now, it is protected with the password we have assigned. If you have any further questions, please feel free to post them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.